Why hello there YouTube, welcome to the Friday Fashion Fashion Friday video. Uh, today I have a pretty interesting topic for you guys, but before we actually dive into that topic, I just wanted to say, links up above, but I am currently hosting a giveaway, and if you guys want to enter, just, you know, click the link up yonder. And yeah, so moving on, I am going to talk today, it's going to be a fashion talk, of course, just about building your own fashion and how you guys can just subtly improve your own fashion sense and kind of maneuver around, like, general style, I suppose, like, making yourself a better dressed dude. Alright you guys, so for this entire video, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ramble. I'm not going to say bullet points, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to say everything that I think you guys need to know to dress better, and I'm just going to start with you guys. So I think that a lot of dressing better is understanding yourself. Uh, I, th I think one of the things about me is I really, really like just like gazing into the abyss that is myself especially with fashion, because uh, honestly, for the past two years, I've been trying to make a leather jacket work on me, but it just don't work. Like, honestly speaking, my arms are too big, my shoulders are too broad, like, it, it's just really bad. Subtle flex, but okay, but anyways. Yeah, like, honestly, it's about understanding yourself, and it's about understanding a lot of your preferences, a lot of the things that you like, and kind of retaining the things that you really, really like, and then using your comfort zone to kind of kind of push yourself out a little bit. So like, a good example of this is, I personally love the aesthetic of a leather jacket, and so I would do almost anything to be able to wear it, but the sad truth is, my body type is not defined for a leather jacket. So if you guys have ever seen a leather jacket, um, it looks the best on tall skinny boys. And, well I mean, of course, girls like of any shape and size can rock the leather jacket, because I think that the leather jacket in nature is a feminine piece, but um, we can get into like feminine masculine styles later. Um, that's a topic I think I'll save for a different video. Anyways, my point is I really adore that piece and I really want to push myself out of my comfort zone to be able to wear a piece like that, but I honestly don't have the frame and I honestly just can't put my shape into a leather jacket. And so no matter how much I want something, that self-understanding of myself is really important. So like, in a simpler example, say, you know, you, you're just getting into fashion, you just got like a bay hoodie or something, and you're wearing, you know, your basic Vans, some jeans, you know, a comfy t-shirt, and your bay hoodie, you know, like a very simple outfit. If you were to improve your outfit from there, I would suggest kind of looking at how you dress in general. Like, are you dressing for comfort? Are you dressing for flashiness? Are you dressing for... Uh, I mean, functional fits, uh, those are pretty interestingly popular as well. Uh, you know, things like that, all right? You're probably dressing for comfort, and if you are dressing for comfort, you need to understand that and kind of highlight that for yourself, that that's a value in the way that you construct your wardrobe, and it's a value in the way that you carry on your own fashion. And so you might want to gravitate towards softer things like fleeces or like essentials hoodies when building your wardrobe versus, you know, like um, rougher things. I, I guess like a, you know, like a really scruffed up denim denim jacket or things along those lines. You know, you want to stay away from things that would make you uncomfortable and uh, shoot for the ones that are more comfortable. So. Uh, that, that was just a quick example, but, you know, you guys can kind of see how it plays in action, like, understanding yourself and moving forward. Uh, I, I think that another part of fashion is also just having an innate sense to want to challenge your current self. So, while I just said that you're great, you probably want to carry over some traits, I also think that you want to challenge a lot of them. So, like, with me, I know a lot of my style is denim jackets, it's a lot of hoodies, it's a lot of joggers, sweatpants, jeans, leggings, and stuff like that, I really never go outside of that comfort zone, you know? And largely speaking, I think I should be challenging myself a lot more in my fashion uh, with experimenting in vintage, you know, like, there, there are lots of different ways other than, I guess, trying different silhouettes. So, like, I like a very oversized fit, uh, as you can see with the Fear of God stuff, but maybe trying more of a slimmer fit, more of a simpler fit, 
and trying to go from there. You know, like things like that that really make you question how you're putting your pieces together can generally elevate your style, in my opinion, at the very least, a lot just because you're willing to try. And if you're willing to try and fail and get laughed at, then honestly, what is there in the world to stop you? <laughs> um, I think that's that's a very important point. Just constantly pushing yourself and like starting to notice your own habits when it comes to fashion after you start establishing a wardrobe, establishing like things that you typically wear on a day to day. And of course, I think one of the easiest ways to do this challenge is just with shoes, like trying dad shoes, trying, you know, sock shoes like Balenciaga or trying Chelsea boots or like white leather shoes, you know, like shoes can offer just so much challenge and diversity. And some of them are just like, you know, how do you even wear those? Like off-white Zoom street? Like, I don't understand how you wear those, but maybe it's just me. Another thing that I think would really help elevate someone's fashion is just experimenting a lot with textures. So like, um, yeah, it's really easy to color coordinate a monochrome outfit, like whether or not you're going for just a black and white or black, white, and gray. But like, if it's just like straight black, just like one color mono monochrome, like you would really, really benefit from having like, I guess uh, for me, I'm wearing like joggers right now. And so it's probably like some polyester or some elastic, elastane stretchy material. Uh, on top, maybe just like a Sherpa or something, something that's like fuzzy and different textured uh, instead of just like continuing the same material on top or maybe like just a cotton top with like a Sherpa you know, zip up or whatever, these textures and playing around with them can really change the way that you look and it adds like subtle details that help you also slowly push out of your comfort zone. And so I, I think I gravitate towards your comfort zone and your non-comfort zone a lot. I think that it's a good place to start when you're trying to improve your style because after you understand yourself and understand how much you're willing to push, it's a good time to try a lot of different things and uh, see where you go. Um, of course, you know, just general basic style advice when it comes to monochrome. I love certain color combinations together, and I kind of learned this through trial and error myself. I love monochrome yellow. Like, if you wear head-to-toe yellow, I think it looks so flashy, so out there, and it's just so evident that you're wearing yellow. <laughs> I also do like playing around with pink. It's really hard to match pink, though. I think pink only works with gray bottoms. Um, and maybe like some white or some baby blues. Uh, when it comes to earthier tones, I absolutely love just like the blue jean look with the brown, like, you know, tan or like desert sand Chelsea boot colors. Uh, those really look, in my opinion, very masculine and manly. And then on top, you just have like a standard white shirt or something like that, and very simple. Um, you're playing off the blue and the brown a lot. I, I really like the color combination of blue and brown, actually. I, I really, really enjoy it. Um, I like playing around with grays a lot. So gray is a great color to, you know, like pad the pink, like I was saying earlier. Or you could use gray with blues, with grays. I mean, it's it's a neutral color, so you can really splash in anything. I love earth tones, so like olive green, sands. I think they all jive really well together. And I usually use like black as an anchor color to kind of make some of those outfits too. Um, when it comes to white, I've never been like daring enough to go the snowman look, which is like just like head to toe all white. But I think that white, I usually only just remain like black, white, black, white. So I haven't really challenged myself there. Uh, with When it comes to red, I always pair it with black just because I think that red and black as a color combination just, you know, like screams very, very like, you know, confident, adventurous, you know, daring a little bit. Um, it's also just a standard plaid combination, so that's another thing, I guess. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I like blue and yellow a lot. I think I recently just started liking the blue and yellow color combo, but I think that it's a really interesting one to play around with. You have a lot of different blues, like you can go with a navy blue, you can go with a baby blue. And um, yellow, you can also mix and match it. Like you can use it in like your accessories, or you could just go outright, just like bright, bright yellow. Uh, yeah, that's the thing, I guess. When it comes to colors that I personally don't like as much, I think I really dislike the neons. And it's just me because I feel like my skin tone just does not jive well with neon, unless if I'm like actually running a marathon or something like that. Because <laughs> I think it only looks good on like you know like 
training clothes or something like that. I, I would never wear like neon on like a normal thing. So like the entire off-white Air Force Ones or like, you know, what else? Like, I don't know what else they released in neon, but you know, it doesn't jive well with me. I feel like this is gonna run a little long, so I think I should stop myself here, but if I were to summarize this for you guys in a really quick ending, it's just understand yourself and then understand yourself enough to still let yourself change and then continue to leverage those change areas and push yourself even further out of your fashion zone, fashion comfort zone at least. And so, uh, and at the end I just talked a little bit about color combinations, but that could just be me rambling. And uh, yeah, I don't know how valuable it was for you guys, but I just wanted to get it out there. These are just pieces of advice that I think would really benefit for a day-to-day -day kind of discussion on fashion, like things to think about and things that, you know, you might be able to benefit from. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope it didn't run too long, but yeah, see you guys tomorrow in the vlogmas video.